Hi, thank you for joining me today. Uh, in this video, we're going to discuss prepositions. Uh, quite simply put, a preposition is uh, a special word which will tell you the direction something is traveling in, uh, where in space something exists, uh, when something is occurring, and also the location of something. Um, a couple of examples I'm just going to throw out there are like, um, you know, my thermos is on the table. So it's telling you where the thermos would be. Or if I were to throw this, I could say I threw the thermos across the room. Uh, so I'm telling you which direction it's going in. Um, I can also say, oh, we've got to be there in five minutes. So in would be the preposition to describe the time at which we've got to be there. Uh, the thermos rolled under um, the table and so that that would answer the question as to where in space something is now prepositions are very specific in so far as they tell you for one uh, where one noun is in relation to another right so it'll tell you where the noun in this case or in this example I used which was thermos where this thing this noun uh, is right relative to another noun. So in the example I gave where the thermos is on the table, uh, the noun being thermos is on, which is my preposition, the table, which is also a noun. Uh, when I use the example, I threw the thermos across the room. Again, my thermos is still a noun, uh, and I'm telling you the direction in this case, which was across, and the other noun uh, it's referring to in relation to the thermos itself is the room, right? The room would be the space that I'm in. And same thing, same thing with the thermos rolling under the table. Uh, the noun being the thermos is under, which is my preposition, uh, the table, which again is a noun. And there's a lot of other examples I can use, but that's just the first one that comes to mind. <coughs> now, uh, prepositions can also be confused relatively easily uh, between, um, excuse me, with adverbs. And what adverbs do is they act upon uh, adjectives or other adverbs, or excuse me, other verbs. Uh, to modify verbs or, again, other adjectives. Um, however, uh, adverbs don't actually act upon an object. They need to act upon a verb, right? A verb or an adjective in this case. Whereas a preposition requires um, two nouns, right? Because we've got to establish a relationship, whether it's direction or time or um, a, a place in space. And it also needs to, uh, in this case, act upon an object. In this case, it would be that second noun. So thermos being the first noun, uh, the preposition for the example under, and then the second noun, which is the uh, object the preposition is acting upon would be the table, right? So we've got that relationship. Whereas if I were to remove uh, the object, then under would then become an adverb, right? So the thermos rolled under, full stop. If I got rid of the object, now under has become an adverb because it's describing uh, where I suppose the uh, ver which, excuse me where the thermos rolled, but not in relationship to an object or another noun. Instead, it's just describing or modifying the verb rolled. Okay, let's go ahead and look at um, a few examples of some adverbs. Uh, we're really just going to look at the adverbs of what are called direction. Uh, there's adverbs of time, like we mentioned, and space, and so on. But for this video, we're just going to talk about adverbs of direction. Okay, let me go ahead and make some space so that we can use this big vacant space uh, to showcase some of these examples. All right, so for number one, um, let's say we went to London last year. So we being the uh, collective, right? This will be our noun. Uh, in this case, it will be the pronoun. Uh, went would be the action, and then two would actually be uh, the direction we're traveling. London, in this case, would be the uh, object that two is acting upon. So it's telling you where or which direction we traveled in. In this case, it was to London. All right, let's look at a second example. Um, oh, he lives in California, but he's from New York. So he being the, uh, the first noun, right? He, uh, excuse me, he's, he lives in California. So lives being the verb. Uh, but he's from, so we're still referring to him, New York. So where he lives now in relation to where he lived before. We still have uh, from, in this case, being the preposition, acting upon the object New York. Okay, uh, third example. The hikers went up the hill. Uh, here we've got the hikers, and 
the direction they traveled is up, and the object that up is acting upon would be the hill. So it tells you the direction that they're hiking, hiking being the action as well. Uh, the hikers, oh sorry, the hikers walked up the hill is the example, so walked being the, uh, the verb. Alright, uh, for number four we have the ball rolled down the hill. So the ball being our noun, uh, rolled being the action, which is our verb, and the direction it traveled was down, and then the object that da uh, down, or the preposition down is acting upon would be the hill. It's telling you which direction and where, right, in this case, or uh, relative to what, excuse me, which would be the hill, the ball is rolling. All right, for number five we have, uh, she took her purse out, or out of, her bag. In this case, uh, her purse, purse being the noun that we're talking about, uh, she took, um, excuse me, uh, in this case, purse being the noun, and then out being the direction of her bag. So it's going to be relative to the second noun, which is bag. So out is now, or out of, is our preposition. Uh, then for number six, we have the plane uh, flew over Tokyo. So the plane being our noun, uh, the action would be flew, and then over would be our preposition, and the object that over is acting upon to establish a relationship of where the plane is traveling was over Tokyo. Okay, uh, and for number seven, we have the cat crawled under the fence. So we've got the cat being our noun, uh, crawled being the action, under being the preposition, relative to what? Oh, the fence. So we've got the, uh, the noun moving, crawling in this case, under preposition, the fence. So um, again, if you are using, oh, let me go back. So if you decide to use prepositions, Keep in mind, uh, a preposition is there to establish a relationship between one noun and another in a sentence, um, and all prepositions need to act upon an object of some kind. Without the object, or rather if the preposition is there or intended to be used as a preposition, but there is no object it's acting upon, then the preposition is then considered an adverb, um, and as such should be treated as an adverb and not considered uh, a preposition. So, all right. Uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and include uh, some of the, the examples that I used in this video uh, in the in so several slides that I've created as well as notes relating to the definition of a preposition in the uh, video description below. Uh, feel free to use it in your own classroom if you're a professional. Otherwise, if you're a student, uh, feel free to take notes or download it or whatever you want to do to study. Um, also, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate a subscription just to help build the channel. Um, and also leave any feedback that you'd like in the comment section below, uh, providing suggestions or tips or other content that you would like to see. For now, um, I'm really focused on generating content that is geared towards developing English, um, whether as a second language or just in general. So anyway, thank you for joining me and I look forward to the next one.